All right, y'all. Video two of two for today. It's Thursday, April 18th, the day before my birthday. All right, so um, this truck here is a little bit of a, a different situation than what we normally do. Uh, and I'll just get it out of the way right off the bat so that way I don't waste anybody's time. Okay, so this truck runs excellent, drives excellent. Hello, Mr. Duck friend. Has absolutely nothing wrong with it. It is really freaking nice. It is EGR deleted, okay, you guys? EGR deleted. That means that even if this beautiful duck would like to register this truck in the state of California, that is not something that I can do for you, okay? Now, if you do, if you're still listening and you're in California and you still want the truck, we can have an EGR cooler put back in it. I just quite personally think that it's a lot better without it. Uh, and I would hate to do that. But again, if you want the truck and you want it registered in California, it's about another 1500 bucks and we can put a bulletproof uh, or sinister EGR cooler in the truck for you. No problem. So now that that's out of the way, I'll get on with it. What is this truck? This truck is a 2005 Ford F350 Lariat crew cab long bed. Okay. The truck has 173,000 original miles on it. The truck is studded, ARP studs, AFE intake, aftermarket exhaust. It does still have the catalytic converter, which is surprising. But again, EGR deleted, okay guys? It's got HID headlights. Um, these are actually rigid LEDs, so they're not like the crappy China ones. Um, it's on at least a six inch lift. It's a Fabtech uh, coil lift with a radius arm, with uh, Bilstein shocks all around. Uh, these are 37 inch uh, Nitto Ridge, grappler, ridge Grapplers. It's got these method um, wheels on it and then actually really nice worn manual locking hubs, uh, which is pretty cool. So uh, as always, I'll point out any like cosmetic defects that I can find. This truck really doesn't have many. It's got this little ding right here, it's, you know, tiny. It's got really good tires. Like I said, Bill Seen shocks all around. It's got this turn down here. It's got these ugly ass tail lights, but hey, you know, personal preference. Okay. Okay, so it's got super Baja pre-runner style, full size spare, including matching wheel. Okay. It also has this drop in plastic bed liner, which is kind of weird because underneath here it also has a literally perfect condition spray and bed liner underneath it so someone just really wanted to double protect the truck i guess um other than that it's got these super sweet fender flares honestly i'm leaving them there because underneath it kind of scuffs the paint right now if you want to spend the time buff it out take it down probably could probably look just fine not something I'm going to do. Now, a um, little scratch here. Like, that looks like it was covered in touch-up paint, I want to say. Okay. Little scuff there. My detailer should have gotten that out, but he didn't. Naughty, naughty. Okay. Other than that, I mean, yeah, you know, super clean. Super clean bumper cap, no clear coat fade on the hood or the bumper cap. This thing's tall as hell, so I haven't even gotten on the roof yet to see if it's got any clear coat fade on the roof. I don't think it does, but we'll find out. Nope. No clear coat fade on the roof. Okay. Uh, all the leather's in nice condition. Steering wheel's in decent condition. It's got this wire or tapped in pyrometer here, which is nice, so you can actually take a good look at your EGTs. This truck is tuned for sure. Uh, it is fast. Did not come with the tuner though, so I couldn't tell you what tunes are in it. Um, my recommendation would be to someone who were to buy this truck would probably be to go ahead and um, buy a new tuner, get your own tunes, put the tunes in it. So that way you know what you're running. Um, not a big fan of just running something without really knowing what you got going on. All the leather, like I said, super nice. Carpet, super nice. Center console, all clean, all nice, okay? 
this uh, head unit. I don't have the wire for it, but the head unit does have Apple CarPlay, um, which is wired through that cigarette lighter right there. Uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get her fired up, run through all the stuff. Okay. Now, turn the AC down so you guys can hear me. It's an Alpine head unit too, not like a shitty one. So what you're going to see on this truck is it does say TBC fault. What does that mean? That means that someone disconnected the factory uh, tow brake controller and installed this Prodigy tow brake controller. I guess the Prodigies are nicer anyways, but I mean, I guess that's to each their own. Personally, I think the TBC fault thing is kind of annoying, but just up to the individual. 173-130. Um, now, I don't know if you can hear it. You can kind of hear a whistle. I think that it may have something in done in the turbo, but I don't know. So I'm not going to say that it does. It's definitely a pretty loud truck. Um, let's see. Okay. So let's work through all this stuff. Four wheel drive. Come on, four by. There it goes. Sometimes it takes a second. If it hasn't been put in four wheel drive in a while, sometimes it takes a second. Now I go back down into neutral four low there we go out of four low back up in a park and out of four by four okay now like I said this does not work it is disconnected that is installed in its place that does work okay uh, rear window oh yeah as you all know by now if you've watched some of my videos those rear windows are very scary uh okay so this truck has a full stereo in it door speakers uh it's got subs and an amp behind the rear seat it sounds really good i'm not going to test it for you today because i'm not hooked up to the bluetooth and i try to do that right now it's going to pause the video and then that's just going to make me cry because then i'm going to have to redo it or patch the video together neither of which i want to do uh tow haul works okie dokie artichokey <sighs> Uh, aftermarket window tint. I would say this is like 5%. Uh, that's the wrong window. This one. Okay. Uh, that one. This is my favorite kind of lariat. No sunroof. I hate sunroofs. They are not my favorite because they like to leak and also break. So this one doesn't have one, which is good in my opinion. I think it also does have HID headlights. I'll turn them on right now and we can look at it when we go out. I'll turn these on too, see if they work. Ooh, I think those are for the LED bars, okay? Yep. HIDs for sure. Looks like this one works, those ones aren't working. thing is really tall and I am really not tall. <laughs> All right. AFE intake, motorcraft batteries. What does motorcraft batteries say to me? The motorcraft batteries say to me that whoever had this truck actually cared about it and probably serviced it at Ford, which is a good thing. Okay. Nothing yucky. It is a Ford cap. It has green cooling in it, which, I mean, it's not my first choice, but I don't think it's really the end of the world. Okay. Climb up here. Get down 
sound so you guys can hear me. There is no EGR cooler in this truck. I repeat, it does not have an EGR cooler in it, okay? No EGR cooler. Oh shit, I forgot to show you the studs. It does have studs in it though. I swear, it really does. I don't feel, oh. oh. All right, I'll pop the head again. It's okay. I'll survive. See if I can show you. opportunity to see that there. Yeah. Pretty dry underneath here. This truck is two owners, I believe. No accidents. It was in Washington State and then it was in California. So now we'll take it for a drive. I'm gonna roll the back window down so you guys can hear the truck. It does have a cat in it, but does not have a muffler. So still pretty loud, I would say. Now, obviously you saw the video that the truck is pretty big. That being said, for how big it is, I gotta tell you, um, it actually drives pretty darn good. Like a lot of the times on these, you hear the power steering kinda making sad noises. Um, that's not the case on this truck at all. It sounds completely fine. Uh, and she's uh, definitely a certified ripper. Okay. Yeah, you barely, I'm barely touching the throttle and it just like it wants to go, even on these giant tires. Um, oh, the one thing that I can't show you because I don't, I'm not hooked up to Bluetooth is that uh, this, sorry, these cars are trying to turn in here. This truck is really big, so I'm kind of blocking their way in. Um, the steering wheel controls, okay, actually work with the head unit, which is an extra adapter. Most people don't do it, um, and it's rare to actually have that working on an aftermarket head unit, but in this truck, it does work. was wanting to go so badly it downshifted I think two two gears to get to where it wanted to be she's quick definitely no slouch stops really nice stops really quickly uh, again steers really good picks up really good it's, it's enjoyable to drive as a truck, for sure. Uh, so now I'll get into the same stuff I always get into uh, with these trucks. Um, price on this truck, as is out of California, no California registration, 17,000 bucks, okay? That's including shipping to you in within reason. If you're in Alaska or like somewhere crazy, then you know we're gonna have to have a conversation about it. Uh, but 17,000 bucks. If you are in California and you want the truck, add $1,500 to that. So $18,500, okay? And the truck can be yours. It's a lot of truck. Like, I know there's a lot of folks, it's, 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 it's two polar opposites. Either you, someone wants a completely stock, like suspension, stock everything truck, or they want a, you know, big lifted done up unit. Well, this is a great example of a big lifted done up unit that isn't a total 
pile of crap um, because a lot of them are. A lot of them are beat. Uh, this one is not. Super nice truck. Drives excellent. Runs really good. Uh, rides really nice too, even for how big it is. It's super easy to steer. Here, look, I'm at a complete stop right now. Okay. Complete stop. If it had any issues, you ain't turning that wheel at a complete stop. I can promise you that. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you watch the video, you like the truck deposits 500 bucks once we have a deposit we have a deal uh the truck is yours we work through the rest of the details as far as either shipping you the truck you know whether it's going to go down uh, to afford to get an egr cooler put in it so on and so forth um these are all things that we'll have to discuss Seventeen thousand out of california 18.5 in california okay super cool super nice truck definitely will not disappoint can always reach me 951-704-2804 or you can find us on instagram dynamic rides underscore or dynamic rides on facebook uh those are the best ways to reach us at this point but um yeah don't sleep on this one super cool truck um has all the right stuff done to it reach out with any questions